So now obviously this truck behind me, the second gen, it's pretty recognizable on the internet. This is Whistling Diesel's old second, second gen. And we're down here in Florida, flew out 1100 miles to come see Dalton Bertrand. He ended up scooping this thing off of Whistling Diesel. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at this whole build breakdown, the future or the present, current state and future plans for the build. I'm Lost, you guys can find me at Lost.co on the gram. And if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, performance, accessories, anything for your truck, customoffsets.com. Let's hop into it. All right, Dalton, Whistling Diesels, second gen. Take us through us. Like what, obviously take us through the original build. It sounds like you know some, some history on this build and then kind of take us through, we'll go through how it's currently sitting and then what your future plans are. Yeah, so uh, I see them listed on Instagram and uh, Luckily, I had his number from a while ago. So I texted him, I'm like, dude, I want the truck. Yeah. And he gave me the price, and literally 10 minutes later, I sent him the money. And I know it probably sounds dumb by looking at this truck because it's got a bent frame. And it's rough. And it's got sandpaper uh, paint job. I don't know what it is. It's, like, it's got like beach sand in it. Yeah. Uh, but I knew the original owner put a lot of money into this and I knew it was a pretty strong truck, at least engine wise. And obviously these are not cheap. You know, yep. wheels and tires are not cheap. Yep. It was a decent build, you know, out of the gate and you know, whistle needs to mm -hmm. put them to the test. I, I figured it was worth it to you know, get on the channel, uh, see if I could rebuild it. Um, of course now, right now it's tough to get parts. Or mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a waiting game. Um, but yeah, I thought it was worth it. It'd be good for the channel, see what we could do. Moseyed on down there, loaded up on a trailer, I, I assume. Yeah, went out there, we had the old gooseneck over there. Went to his field, seen it. She was a beaut, just sitting there in the old open field. And uh, I got it. I mean, yeah. it, it's definitely rough. And I, and I understand why people think I'm an idiot for buying it. Yeah. But I think it's the right move. Sure. Because it's, it's got a lot of money into it. All right, so obviously that's passed. Let's take a little bit of a walk around around this thing. Let us know what we're rocking with, so obviously, uh, this thing is pretty decently tall. What what suspension are we rocking with on this? So it's a seven inch springs um, and it's got a three inch body lift. I don't know what brand it is, but sure. 10, 11 inches Damn. on 42s, 24 by 14 American Force tracks. Um, you know, it's a pretty big truck. TGC uh, traction bars. Um, what else is under this thing? We got TGC some- TGC long arms, um, Dodge off-road, full built front end, steering, all that. Some of it's missing. Yeah. Uh, Fox shocks all, all around. I think it's the 2.0 reservoirs. Sure. Um, I got to see some power steps. Yeah, those are amp research. They're, they've seen better days. Yeah. yeah the other fun. side has none. Has not. Oh, wow. Well, they're somewhere over in the shop. Yeah. Uh, they felt they were about to fall off when we put on the trailer. So. All right. So what's up with this like cab dump exhaust down here? What you got? What are you working with? I believe it's a uh, five inch diamond eye exhaust to it just randomly turned down right there to the i guess the monster max uh, tip so um, monster max tip well uh you gonna keep the monster max tip <laughs> i don't know so getting a new flatbed for this thing yeah. i might integrate the, the exhaust into the bed itself like a side exit like basically right here mm -hmm. and or i'm gonna do like the side-by-side -side shotgun stacks and like on the flatbed sure but the rear is really hard to like figure out what's going on um but yeah, it's here. Bent frame. Bent frame. The bed's absolutely demolished. Shackle flip. It's a rear disc brake conversion as well. It has an exhaust brake. I don't think it works anymore, but uh, horn blasters, train horn kit under there as well. Wait, what, there's horn blasters under here? Oh yeah. 
They're, they're holding oh, on for yeah, dear life. Yeah, they are. One self tap screw is holding them in. Yeah, that looks, oh yeah, she's about to fall off. This used to be a water meth kit and it's no longer that. It's now a Bluetooth <laughs> water meth tank. <laughs> yeah. She's yep. gone. Doesn't work as well. Looks like you're ready for uh, uh, some towing. Yeah, he obviously put that on to tow a semi trailer. That's part of the reason why the frame is twisted. What brand rear bumper? Backwoods built, I believe. Okay. KC cubes. Yep. Looks like you're not. Royal shackles. I don't know how to get those off because I think you need the key. And you're not keeping this, correct? Not keeping it, no. Uh, Bluetooth rear window. Bluetooth rear window. I had that done recently. So obviously the truck's in uh, in a state. She's a little wrecked. She's not mint, she's but a little, she's close. She's a little chooched. We'll take that home if you want. We're gonna take this home, thank you. Future plans. Overall, what are you gonna do for wheels and tires? I wanna go with a 38, I think on a 22. It's gonna be a dually. Got to dually find the conversion. Perfect, yep, you wanna find the perfect setup. I still want that stance though. It's gonna be about a seven inch lift. Super single front. Yep, and uh, you know, I just want a pretty clean setup, nothing too crazy, yep. obviously the suspension. If I can reuse the TGC stuff and not put it on backwards like that, whoever did that, if I can reuse those, I might use you know, reuse them. When you guys um, put your traction bars on, make sure you put the sturdy end on the rear axle so that way it like does the thing that it's supposed to do, not the flimsy part. <laughs> Looks like the other end is on correct. I <laughs> might have lied to you. Nope, right. I think they're both on backwards. Okay, so you plan on reusing that. Yep. Wheels and tires you'll probably sell to fund the to fund the build. Yeah, once we start actually transferring stuff over to the new frame, yeah, I'll start selling stuff off of it. Cause yeah, because I, of I feel like these wheels and tires, ooh, some spike lugs too. I feel like these wheels and tires are uh, in pretty good condition. 24s and 42s, so sell those yep. to help fund the build. Your custom spray painted 11-inch uh, kit. Keeping? I think I'm just gonna get new stuff for that though. Probably get some new steps. I'm sure trans, you, yeah. a little rough. Yeah, trans <laughs> might need, it's fantastic in reverse. Beautiful. Not so fantastic going straight, but it's missing second gear. We think once this thing is, once those turbos light, she's fast. That's 480 over 64 mil turbo. You know, it's a fully built engine. Like it, it, it made about 800. I was gonna show you air. Uh, we have air cooled diffs. Oh yeah, air cooled diffs. I think that was an option. You got some uh, leaking action. That is the trans. The trans is unhappy. We got some open wires. Yep. The fog light or something. Yeah. Those aren't useful anymore. So you guys can charge your phone. If you want to have like a microwave or something yeah. in there. Yeah, hook up a microwave. Something like that. Yeah, refrigerator on them cool days. You don't need diff covers. Nothing will get in there. Not even the sand that has managed to blow miles away from the beach. Well, you got a little friend in, in your headlight. Sleeping. He's sleeping. Bluetooth, power steps. Fast 150 right there. Yeah. Interiors also very nice. Yeah, very nice interior. I also like to keep my wires hanging out. Yep. Oh. And it's also has a nicer dash than my second gen. And Whistle and Diesel didn't own my second gen. That's not a good feeling. It's got that nice <laughs> carpet smell. It's probably because your seats are exposed. To water. Yeah, to cats. water. Because <laughs> the Bluetooth rear window. Yeah, it's the only downside of it. You're definitely leaking something back here. Sounds like you got quite the project. You're gonna pop a tire here. Oh, yeah. oh. That side has six inch wheel spacers on it. This one does not. Spacers on one side. Yeah. Money. We keep the spacers off this side. That way you don't have to worry about getting too close to curbs. You leave your stance on the driver's side. It's for drive throughs Yeah, it's for drive throughs it's opposite end. If you guys didn't see our drive through video, that's why. All right, buddy. Well, thank you for yeah, allowing fun. us to come to Florida. Check sure. out your future build. That's what we got for you guys on today's video. If you guys want to see some of his builds, he does some pretty crazy stuff. He's gonna, he's about to take, we're trying to film a movie. It's freaking bike week. Yeah, There's movie. bikes everywhere. I'm trying to film YouTube videos and there's just bikers everywhere. If you guys want to catch any of his builds, obviously his cat eye we covered, uh, this thing's gonna be insane. Anytime these like wrecked vehicles, take it from me. I took a wrecked vehicle and made it beautiful before I sold it. If you guys want to see something like that, he's about to take it from zero to 100 and this thing is going to be absolutely fire. So you guys can definitely check out his channel. If you guys need anything for your truck, wheels, tires, suspension, performance, accessories, customassets.com. See you guys on the next one.